If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to answer this question on your own before listening on. In this situation, we have a conducting rod that is moving with a constant velocity through a uniform magnetic field. And in that situation, we can apply the concept of motional EMF. And according to motional EMF, we know that the potential difference across the conducting rod is equal to the product of the magnetic field, the length of the rod, and the speed at which the rod is moving. Now, if the potential difference across the rod is delta V, that means that the potential difference across this light bulb will also be delta V. The question notes regarding the light bulb that we need it to consume energy at a rate of 1.10 watts. This value right here, of course, is the power that is present in that light bulb. And we know that power is equal to the potential difference across the light bulb squared divided by its resistance. And if we look at these two equations carefully, we can see that the potential difference across the bulb is present in this equation right here, and then again it's also present in this equation right here. So it's going to be useful to combine these two equations algebraically. Let's go to the second equation and multiply both sides of it by the resistance R, and that way the resistance will cancel. And then to solve for the potential difference we can take the square root of both sides. And when we do that we can see that the potential difference across the light bulb is equal to the square root of the resistance and the power multiplied together. Now this result for the potential difference across the light bulb can be substituted into the first equation that we had written down. And then since the question is asking for the speed at which the rod should be pulled, we want to solve for this lowercase v right here. And to do that we can divide both sides by BL. And so at this point, we can simply plug in the known values. The length was given to us in centimeters, so we'll have to make sure to convert that into meters. The resistance is given in the standard unit of 5 ohms. The magnetic field is also given in a standard unit of 1.2 Tesla. And then we have the power in the standard unit of watts. So let's go ahead and plug those values in. So here are the values plugged in. Note again that we converted the length from centimeters to meters by multiplying the centimeters by 10 to the minus 2. When you plug this into your calculator, you should get approximately 7.24. And since we used standard units, the speed comes out in the standard unit of meters per second. So this would be the correct answer to the question. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel so you could stay tuned for other videos. Remember that you can send in your own question to the email address that is shown on the screen, and I'll do my best to post the solution to it on YouTube.